Hey, what's up, guys? So, I made a new little feature within uh, Unity Anti-Cheat, uh, which I like to call it just UAC. And basically what it does is uh, adds new information uh, regarding the player as far as if they are wearing enchanted armor or not. Uh, which, you know, I use to go ahead and make systems out of. So there's a few things in here that, for whatever reason, just don't work on realms really well. But this enchanted armor feature uh, works pretty well on realms. So you have at least this to look forward to. So we'll wait for UAC to go ahead and run its init file. There you go. Now, this new feature also wouldn't be possible uh, without the help of this uh, this developer right here. So he made the uh, the framework that was possible for this. Uh, and I'm glad that he's also now on the uh, the project with me. So let's go ahead and staff ourselves up. And uh, the first thing that we're going to notice is that when we do the stats command now, it's a whole lot of new stuff. Uh, so, so far as like, you know, if uh, the tracker isn't enabled, then it will say it's disabled that, rather than get, not giving you a number at all. Um, it shows our coordinates, you know, exactly where we are. So it's 706, you know, that's where we are, if you can see. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for that message to go away. But uh, that's pretty cool. Only thing is, is this doesn't work in realms. I don't know why. Realms doesn't like, uh, realms doesn't like us, you know, tracking player position at all. I don't, I'm not sure why it won't work. But you saw how, like, when I started up this world, I actually had to toggle all the experimental features and stuff. And I usually have to do that for everything to actually work. Um. So I'm pretty sure by default some of this feature is actually off uh, within the realms, and that's why it's not working. Uh, so if we go ahead and uh, let's... Thorns goes on pretty much everything, so we can do that. We can do that. And uh, equip all that. And if we go ahead and do the stats command again... Uh, you'll see that we now have enchanted boots and armor, which is pretty accurate. So what happens if we were to go to ahead and throw some stuff around and say enchant this. Whoops. Let's go ahead and equip that and lo and behold, uh, we have boots and chest plate. And it's going to say boots and chest play are the only things enchanted. So that's pretty cool. It'll go ahead and accurately tell us what a player has enchanted and what they don't. Uh, and if they don't, if they're not wearing anything at all, it'll also say no enchants. Uh, so that's that's kind of helpful. Now the greatest thing about this is if we go ahead and toggle this new module, uh, which will be uh, enchanted armor disable. Toggle that on, and if we go ahead and to, uh, try to equip any enchanted armor, it'll actually immediately remove it from us. The regular armor is fine, we won't do anything about that, but if we go ahead and uh, equip anything that's enchanted, it'll say specifically what it's removing from us. And all everyone, including staff, can see these messages, so it'll, it'll tell you you know, who it's snitching on, and everything like that. Well, if we go ahead and just, you know, equip any anything, it'll work just fine. And this, this doesn't have to be necessarily thorns. It could actually be, like, any enchant. So, like, if we go ahead and just enchant it with anything, if it's enchanted, it's going to get rid of it. But the downside with this is that uh, it's not going to keep track of specific enchants. Uh, that's not really possible, but if it's enchanted at all, it's going to go ahead and, you know, immediately clear it from that player, uh, which is pretty nice, pretty nice to have.
And if we go ahead and we always toggle this off. So if we uh, just end chance off, go ahead and we're enchanted with something. It will let us, you know, it'll let us go ahead and equip it again. And our legs are enchanted. So it's a pretty neat little system that I made. Uh, thanks to uh, Unknown Catastrophe, who is the other developer that went ahead and joined the project with me. Uh, there's also other systems that I built, which was uh, this item ban thing. So if you now go ahead and it's like item ban check, you can see like which items are allowed and banned and stuff. That's all a new system within itself. I may show that off later when I actually update UAC to version 2.2. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and, you know, get this early, uh, since, you know, this enchant armor feature is actually within UAC version 2.2. Um, so if you want to go ahead and try to get that early, you can actually go ahead and go to the UAC Discord. Uh, where, you know, you can give suggestions and report bugs and stuff. And you'll also be able to see the change log of the things I'm adding in the next version, as well as actually videos of how they work, like as soon, as early as they come out, or even like while I'm developing them. Uh, so th this Discord will be down in the description below for you guys to check out. And uh, if you want to go ahead and you know compile this add-on early, uh, before version 2.2 is released, you can actually go to the GitHub channel. And uh, you know, visit any one of these these uh these commits, and just compile your own version from the GitHub since it's now open source. Uh, so I appreciate you guys. You know, I thought this would be uh cool to show off, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.